amazing power group, awesome <coughs> harmonies, and the combination of all the instrumental talents. Um, Kali Hannes on bass, Matt Spro on guitar. <laughs> David Kamakahi on ukulele. <laughs> Put your hands together for Waipuna. My so nice to be here in the shade. Oh yeah, in the breeze. In the shade. <laughs> in the breeze. You know why? Cause, cause we're cool. 
<laughs> oh, shoot me now. Okay, well, as we so kindly introduced, ladies and gentlemen, we are Waipuna. My name is Kale Hannes. We have Matt Sprout on the guitar, Ooh, David yeah. Kamakahi on the ukulele. Thanks for having us. That first song we shared with you, uh, originally performed by our friend, Mr. John Cruz, called Kahala Moon, and we like to start off because it's a nice, easygoing number and kind of gets us right into the pocket, right into the groove. It, throughout the course of this uh, performance here, if you have any requests, feel free to let us know. We'll have Kavika come up while we're on break, and he'll perform those requests for you. But in the meantime, um, a little bit of background about us. We have been performing together as a group for the past 11 years. Um, oh, thank you. <laughs> Apparently, that's, that's something now, right? Because I think the guys that are performing, uh, that have more experience than us is uh, Nahua, Manulua, Ho'okena. Everybody else, young boys now, <laughs> screaming. <laughs> And maybe the ferns, Palapalaya, I will throw them in the mix. But um, we each come from different backgrounds, and we're going to be sharing some of uh, not only our music together, but some of the music that was a part of where we each came from in our different paths in this musical journey. Um, last year, we released our fifth album, celebrating 10 years as a group. And uh, I'm proud to say, and Lynn, you can document this. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> in, in about a week and a half, we're going back into the studio to release, start working on project number six to be released next year. Feel free to clap anytime you <laughs> want, by the way. Positive reinforcement really helps our egos. So, um, and I guess Kavika, uh, we were talking with Kavika, we we're actually the very first group to perform at this uh, Kani Kapila in Kailua on the second floor. X amount of years ago. We forget. How many years? Like eight, yeah? Wow. Eight. It's a long time. Since then, we've been able to travel the world. And oh. Yeah, that too. <laughs> Chino. That's Chino. <laughs> Since then, we've been able to travel the world and back and uh, learn lots of different things. So we're going to share with you about some of our travels. But in the meantime, kicking off uh, this, um, this portion, or the next song we'd like to share it's a song from our second album that was, um... <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. <laughs> we also bring our own sound effects. That's me. So we're going to share with you a song that um, was composed by David's father, the Reverend Dennis Kamakahi. And in this song, um, it takes us over to the island of Maui. And um, as many of us people here in Hawaii, we, we know there's a phrase, a certain phrase, Maui no ka'oi. And yeah, perhaps. Not if you live on Oahu, though. Uh, but in this song, he... Um, Uncle Dennis did some genealogy research and he was able to find that how conveniently they're linked to all these Maui chiefs. And I would, David, I would love to see the paperwork to document that. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's my family, bro. But um, we're going to share with you that song until not leave Puolani. All right, let's go. Hanui 
This question uh, prior to today, how many of you have actually heard of uh, our group Waipuna? Okay, <laughs> right on. Oh. half of them. Yes, we're getting we're, we're getting better. <laughs> 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 All right. Well, um, you know what? Um, we just got back from a tour of California, where we hit up San Diego, um, San Luis Obispo area, and Santa Cruz, and. Well, we, when we do these mainland tours, it's actually kind of fun because we reach into our bag of tricks and um, actually kind of rewind the clock a little bit. So the guys have no idea what I'm talking about right now. But why don't we do this? Why don't we each like do a song, choose a song from like the first, second, third, fourth, or fifth album, and we kind of go that way, yeah? Kind of like a round robin, if you will. Okay. 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 So I'll go first. Okay. Give you guys some time to think about this since. We're professionals and I'm dropping this on you right now. So, um, our first album was released in 2009 and it featured a actually just Matt and myself. David came on for the second album and um, ever since then, he, he hasn't really left us, which, which is a good thing, which is a good thing. Um, but one of the things that we wanted to do when we um, made up Waipuna is we wanted to do music differently. And as Matt likes to say, we don't want we don't want to be typical with our music. We want it to be unique. What's going to set our version of a classic song aside? You know, make it stand out from another version. So, 
Uh, I think this was one of the songs that we really did that, or tried to do that as best we could. Um, classic song by Uncle Johnny Almeida. One of our favorites that was made popular by, let me see, so many groups. Buddy Foe by Macaw Sons of Niihau. But we'd like to share our version of Kiss Me Love with you. Kiss me, love, my darling Kuipo, Kule, Gardenia, Ona, Ona, Pilima, Kau. Kiss me, love, my darling Kuipo, Kule, Gardenia, Ona, Ona, Pilima,
Kiss me now. Okay. So that was my choice. Matt, Matt, you haven't... Let's go to the second album. Let's go to the second album. And I got the mic, so I'm going to tell the story as much as I want to. I'm going to drink water. So as uh, Kali mentioned, um, the first uh, album was just Kali and I. And, uh, you know, we were auditioning a few people because we come from... We, we were Prior to Kwaipuna, we were considered the musician's musician. We played with everybody. We were always a fill-in guy, so... You know, it's always natural that we are the background guys, but we were actually thrown into the front now. And so we were like auditioning people to become that third person. It was kind of weird. It was. But I remember one day, <laughs> you know, after one of our, uh, one of our auditions, um, Kali looks at me and says, Matt, if someone gave you $100, would you want to cut it in two? and keep $50, or you want to cut it into three and keep $30? What would you want to do? I said, I'd rather take 50. Then we're going to keep this as a duel. <laughs> so we started off by Puna as a duel. And then in our second album, um, we're, re we're actually in the midst of recording, and Kali says, you know what, I want to bring in this one guy, uh, Dave Kamakahi, to play this on this one song that I wrote. I said, sure. I mean, I, I followed him ever since he was 16 years old, watching little videos with him and his dad. I've always loved his style, you know, the, the, the way he plays. You know, it, it's very groovy, you know, and I, I loved it. So I said, yeah, why groovy. not? And um, it was a song that Kale wrote called Nui Kealoha no Kawaii, a story that he wrote on a, a trip that he took around the island of Kauai. Started over the airplane ride, and they went on a helicopter ride. They went hiking up Hanekapiai Trail, saw all the big surf, um, and all the experiences that came along with that. Basically, it was his love for that island of Kauai, sharing that. Love Kauai. And, <laughs> and it, 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 was, it, was a, it was a funny thing, because I'm going to kind of dig deep into the Darwin. When, when Kyle and I were playing at the Royal Hawaiian as a duo for many, many years, we had these little things about... Um, ending songs, right? We didn't want to just end the song. We want to do something a little bit more kind of creative and, and whatnot. So we, we were, um, we used to do this one particular song and we would kind of like um, trans transition from one song with one chord and we'll do the, the harmonies. Ooh, and, and while we're doing harmony, I said, you know what? Let's do this and we'll end that song with that same idea we do with this one song. So watch the ending. You're going to see what I'm talking about. This song is called Nui Ke Aloha. This is a, where we feature David Kamakai for the first time with White Puna Music. And he hasn't stopped following <laughs> us since. Five, six, five, six, seven. <laughs> Hele aku ana i kau a i he he a i na kau la na no kau o ki pa he nui ke aloha no kau a i he hele aku kau a ma mo tu le le e hele aku ana i kau a i he he a i na kau la na no kau o ki pa he
Dave, you're up, buddy. I'm gonna jump over to the fourth. All right, let's do everything you want to do. <laughs> it's just a, uh, because we travel about what, like once every month. So, being a traveling musician, especially traveling with these guys, uh, it's it's a. Uh, so much Ma fun, oh my gosh. <laughs> Makes me appreciate home a little more. <laughs> <laughs> Especially when I get to play for my daughter and my wife over there. The song comes from the fourth album. Uh, I learned a lot from uh, my father, Reverend Dennis Kamaka. He was a slack key artist, he was a composer, a uh, Grammy Award winner. And no pressure for me at all. So. But uh, growing up to a traveling musician, it was an interesting childhood, but uh, a lot of great music was made. And my dad would spend it all on us and uh, just trying to make a living back in the 70s, 80s. He was in the business over 40 years. Yeah. Then, um, <coughs> so he wrote a lot of songs, uh, a lot of jewelry my mom never got. He wrote songs about her. This is one of them. It's for their eighth wedding anniversary. Uh, he writes about uh, good memories and a uh, song entitled Emal Keloha, which means the love continues and continues. And the uh, song goes like this. Five, four, Oh, 
did one full rotation at this time uh, I thought I'd offer uh, do you guys have any requests no okay moving right along then we're gonna um, <laughs> since we did albums one two and four I'll do a song from album three and this song actually means a lot to us we all have family or can trace our genealogies back to um, Kohala on Hawaii Island and Kohala is a very special place, of course. Matt's family is very prominent in Kohala. If you ever get a chance to go there, you know, you go past, go through a couple of one-lane bridges, past the Kamehameha statue, all the way to the end of the road, you're gonna see um, Pololu Valley kind of unveiled right be before you, beautiful area. And then, of course, they have the, what are the next mountains or the, the valleys over? Honokaneiki, Honokaneinui. Yeah. And then Waipio Valley. Yeah. Beautiful area. One of the last pristine areas here in Hawaii. And if you look up on the right-hand side, you'll see uh, some houses. And that's the Sprout family houses. Of course, Uncle Kindy uh, used to live over there. And that's a place where Matt still goes. And we are invited to go over there. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, <laughs> we, um, although this song was not composed by the Sprouts, <laughs> it's definitely a song that has been... Um, adopted as a Kohala anthem, if you will. It's a song composed by Kumuhula music legend, Robert Uluvehi Casimero. And we'd like to share with uh, you our version of this beautiful song entitled Aloha'e Kohala. Come 
Such a beautiful line. So much love for Kohala, the sands of our birth. Beautiful. <laughs> Just love this reverb over here. Yeah, natural reverb. Hides so many mistakes. It's like we're in Makul Cave. We should just tour parking lot. All right, Maddie, you're up. <laughs> okay, I guess we'll go to the, uh, the fifth and... What we have is right now the most recent recording. Child. Mm-hmm. You know. Oh. <laughs> yeah. We actually did something that no, no other Hawaiian artists have ever done. And um, Besides make fools of ourselves. I- yes, we make fools of ourselves. On a regular basis. Yeah, on a regular basis. But we actually did, s- we actually did something on this album. You know, um, as, as David was saying, we, we travel to Japan about once a month. We're always there. And um, one of the things that we love to do when we're in Japan is eat. And after we finish eating, we're full. We always, were, we always work on this one, one way of, of 
being a musician, we don't treat this as we're just musicians. We are businessmen also. The entertaining never stops once we get off that stage. It constantly moves. We're constantly um, marketing ourselves. We're constantly entertaining people. So we will actually take Halau out after the show and just, you know what, we want to go out with you guys. We will have, we will have dinner. They're the pink for it, of course. That, just, that's the truth, but that's not what I'm getting at. But, you know, the, the idea was to, um, to, you know, to, to have that time and, and to actually understand who our audience is, who our fans are. And then after you finish eating, we go to karaoke. And a whole new entertainment process goes on there. And we get to sing not the Hawaiian songs, but we get to sing the English songs. But also, we get to watch them sing Japanese songs. And we, we found a love for a lot of these Japanese medleys also. But one in particular, we, we kind of caught on to them because when we go to the different cities and we, and we, we, um, we have this time with other halal up in Japan, we notice that they always sing the same songs. And this is one of those songs. No matter where we are in Japan, they all love this song. We found out they all, in Japan, they all know this song. But it's an Okinawan song. And in Okinawa, the way the Japanese look at Okinawans is the same way the Americans look at us. You know, the Japanese look at Okinawa and say, you guys are lazy. All you guys want to do is play music and drink beer. <laughs> Sound familiar, locals? The, the Americans, the, the uh, continent of the Americans, get us. All you guys doing is wearing slippers every day. Slipper, 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 slipper. You know, that's that's our lifestyle. Same like the Okinawans. Okinawans the same. They wear slippers every day. They drink beer all the time. They're always late to everything. But then we find there's a there is a similarity to that island life and the island style. And this song that this one group called Begin recorded. And it's called Shimonchu no Takara, which means the islands are my treasure. And it says, you can take me from anywhere. But you know what? The island, this is my treasure. This is where my heart is. And these are the things that you can never take away from me. The way the Hawaiians look at, the, at these islands, this is a treasure to us. I moved away. Mahalo. I moved away to, to college for a few years. But you know what? I'll always find my way back to Hawaii because this is where my roots are. Just like how the Okinawa song. And so we caught on to this song. It says, you know what? There's a similarity. Let's record this song. But not let not just record it. We recorded this song live in Tokyo in front of about a thousand people in attendance. The audience members had no idea what we're doing. All we told them was we're gonna be singing or we're gonna be recording a song and we want you guys to applaud. So if you ever listen to this song on our album, <laughs> you're gonna start. We're gonna hear us start the song, and you're gonna start to hear that the audience members go insane. But they have this one, this one thing they do in, in Okinawa. They say "Ia sasa." It's a, that's their version of saying "Chihu." They say "Ia sasa" and everything. So we're gonna, we want you to follow along with us. We want you to. Um, this is kind of like a. a, a, a an answer back. So I want to, let's practice that. So on the count of three, one, two, three, Ia Sasa. Ready? One, two, three, Ia Sasa. Cool. One more time. Well, that's good. That's good. You guys sound like Okinawans. You guys sound like Okinawans. I swear to God, these guys, these guys are very, very passionate when it comes to Ia Sasa. Okay, ready to go. One, two, three, Ia Sasa. We'll show you where to put that in the song. The song goes like this. Oguga Tamae o kikare te mo 
悲しい時も嬉しい時も何度も見上げていたこの空をいやささいやささよく書に書いてあることだけじゃわからない大切なものがきっとここにあるはずさそれが始末主の歌からいやささささ僕が生まれたこの島の海を僕はどれくらい知ってるんだろうよげれてくさんごも天行く魚もどうしたらいいのかわからないでも誰より誰よりも知っている南が見えて波に揺られて少しずつ変わっていくこの海をいやささいやささテレビで映せないラジオでも流せない大切なものがきっとここにあるはずさそれが芝居シュルタからいやささいやささ島の歌を僕はどれくらい知ってるんだろう。トゥバラマも天差節も言葉の意味さえわからない。もう誰より誰よりも知っている。祝いの夜も祭りの朝もどこからか聞こえてくるこの歌をいやささいやささいつの日かこの島を離れてくその日まで大切なものはもっと深く知っていたそれが芝居シュルタからそれが芝居シュルタからそれが芝居シュルタから One more time, いいさいいやささ Alright, Shimanchu no Takara. Ia Sasa, you're speaking Japanese already. Alright. So, Kamika, we're at 4:51. Are, are we supposed to take a break or can we just play right through? You guys mind if we just play straight through? Alright, no break, yeah? Mahalo, you guys. All right. Ooh. Woof, woof. <laughs> okay, Dave, you're up. Up to you. Up to you, Dave. We're on Facebook. Oh, yeah, by the way, if you're, um, if you're on Facebook, if you're on the Facebook, go look up Waipuna Music. We're very likable. All you got to do is click like. And then you like us. You can follow us where we go, see where our other performances are, see what food we're eating, see what,、um, 
Yeah, we, we have to be good boys, so that's all you're going to see. Sorry. Uh, Should we do a round of favorite songs? Yeah. <laughs> all right, Dave. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, uh, about five years ago, um, in April 2014, um, my father uh, passed away of uh, stage four lung cancer. And uh, we just got back from Mare Monarch, and uh, I got back just in time. And we got to spend a few hours. I called. Matt and Khaled to come uh, visit my father in the hospital bed, and, and we all laughed and cried and sang songs and uh, told old stories. <laughs> yeah, Khaled was a hot mess, he said. And, uh, but later that year, um, we were requested to do a musical tribute to my father and. And uh, I was I was still uh, kind of affected by um, my father passing away, but Kali's like, oh, w we should do um, three of his most popular songs and do it in the styles that that he loves so much. And I thought it was a fantastic idea. And um, and we were very fortunate enough that um, the uh, Hawaii Academy of Recording Arts uh, allowed us to perform in the pre-show. Uh, this tribute, so uh, we call it our uh, Kamakahi Medley, and uh, it consists of three songs. Uh, the first one is Wahinidi Kea from Molokai, and uh, it talks about the mist on the mountains of Kamalo as it parts. It reveals 11 waterfalls cascading down the cliffs, and he actually bequeathed this uh, song to my daughter, so it's always a pleasure to play it in front of her. And the second song is Pohone which is my father's, uh, it was the song my father sang to my mother before he asked her to marry him. And he wrote it in Spokane, Washington, of all places. And um, after playing a concert in McNeil Island Federal Penitentiary, <laughs> <laughs> he said the song was inspired by the prison door slamming behind him, and uh, he said, no, I better get my act together. And the final song on the medley is Koke'e from the NF Kawa'i. But uh, for those that know these songs, uh, keep an eye out for the versions that we do. They were dad's favorites. It goes like this. <laughs> Na 
lava home ho o kipa akamali hindi i now love me i know e ahi ahi wa love mai e kamakani ho o lua
Kale, your favorite song? I wish we could take these acoustics over here. It's so good. <laughs> All right. Actually, we'll open up. Anybody have any requests? Oh, Manao Pili. Oh. Wow. You had one over here? Kala. The group or the, the song? Okay. Don't worry, Kavika will take care of you on that one. Uh, <laughs> 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 yeah. Um, okay, Manao Pili. We can, yeah, let's do Manao Pili. We haven't done that one in ages. That's why we have iPads. <laughs> Once again, if you're just joining us, ladies and gentlemen, we are Waipuna. And, um, oh, mahalo, you guys. We have all about five albums. It's gonna start working on number six in about a week and a half. And so uh, we're here to share some of that music with all of you folks. Um, this particular song was one of those that we always loved and we wanted to arrange in our Waipuna style that we talked about. Written by one of our kupuna who has left us recently, Auntie Diana Ki. Yeah, she's awesome. And in this song, she compares um, this area on Kauai to how it's very much like her home on Hawaii Island of Miloli'i. You know, Hawaiians kind of use names for various islands, um, and they, they reuse names. There's like three Waimeas, four Waimeas. And in this case, the area of Miloli'i on Kauai is very similar to her area, the fishing village of Miloli'i on Hawaii Island. So she wrote this song until Mana'o Pili and happens to be the title track of our first album. Mana'o means thought, Pili means together or entwined. And that's what we wanted to really uh, send a message for when we were releasing our first album. It was like, at the time, it's Matt and I and our thoughts were really together. And I can say, honestly, to this day, our, all we need to do is give a certain look sometimes and kind of know what's, what's going on next. So, sung by request from our first album, Manao Pili.
That went deep down in the bag for Ranya. Yep. <laughs> oh, Kavika said we should mention our CDs. <laughs> CDs. There, they're mentioned. Okay. Now, we, um, after our performance, we'll have some CDs available, all five CDs, and uh, we can sign them as well if you want. Um, Tis the season for giving. Let me see. 
Okay, there was any other requests besides Kalapana? I know what you want. Yeah. Can Chris? Yeah. Under the bus you go, Kristen. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we have David's wife in the audience. Please give her a round of applause as she comes up. She she dances for Uncle Ed Collier and Hala Wonapu Kukui. Kristen Kamakai. Hi. Yeah, Sasa. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, Okay. Oh. You know, with five albums and with a sixth one on the way, you start to forget words. There's so many words. <laughs> oh, okay. This song is one of our favorite songs. It's, um... We composed this song for her kumuhula, Uncle Ed Collier, who is one of the best words you can use to describe him is olu olu. He's so nice. He is one of those like classic Hawaiian gentlemen. Beautiful smile, has that upright posture, always looks good. And we love him so much that we wrote this song for him and his halau. As I mentioned earlier, Kristen dances for Halawu na Pua Kukui. So we wrote this song into Hana Hana no Ki Kukui, comparing Uncle Ed to that light that shines bright, leading the way for future generations. Aloha 
の葉物の剣食い風平部はバイバイ That's Christian Kamagari, ladies and gentlemen. Follow, sister. All right. Wow, that, that went by fast. We're starting, to, we, we're starting to wrap things up already. <laughs> Go watch UH game. Oh, oh. oh my. Don't worry. We get All chance. Right. We yeah. get chance. <laughs> we're undefeated at home. <laughs> this season. <laughs> this season. <laughs> All right. Well, Dave, you're up. Here you go, Judy. Here you go, Judy. Yeah. Took me 20 years to learn it. Learn this song and... Uh, have the courage to play it in public. Uh, when I was young, I'd say about 17 years old, throughout my summers, I would always uh, go every week to the Ocean Terrace at the, it's the Waikiki Beach Marriott now, but it used to be the Hawaiian Region Hotel. And I'd always watch Uncle Ledward Kaapana. Hawaiian Region. Old school. <laughs> um, it's an old song. It's a medley of two songs. Starts off with the 12th Street Rag and goes right into Sweet Georgia Brown. So you, it's for everybody here today. Let's have some fun. Song entitled Just Press.
Here we go, man. Just for us. That was David coming call you, ladies and gentlemen. Start wrapping things up. Hope you guys enjoyed our little performance over here. If you if you want, come talk story with us afterwards. We're gonna leave you with uh, this one last song from our second album. Some people would say this song kind of put us on the map. We were able to collaborate with uh, Kumu Hula from from Oakland, California. Kumu Mark Kili Hopalu collaborated with us on this. It's a trilogy or medley of three songs all paying tribute to Kamehameha. Hope you guys enjoy this in our Kamehameha trilogy. Oh, 
Once again, we are Waipuna. My name is Kale Hannes. We have Matt Sprout on the guitar, David Kamakahi on the ukulele. Check us out on Facebook, YouTube, or just come talk story with us afterwards. It'd be nice to meet some of you folks and uh, share some of our latest happenings. On our fourth album, we had the opportunity to record with a beautiful voice, a beautiful person. She goes by the name of Natalie Ayi Kamau. And uh, yes, yeah, she's great. Fantastic. And you know what? Let, let me just digress in saying mahalo to you guys, whether it's Waipuna or any other group here, mahalo for coming out and supporting Hawaii's musicians and Hawaiian music. A big mahalo goes out to Kavika Kahiapo for putting this on. Mahalo Kavika for inviting us back. After having us at the first one and then we didn't come back for a long time, I thought we got banned at first. But so nice uh, to be able to come back. We like to end with this song, and it's not really a Hawaiian song. It's actually a country song that was originally performed by the group Diamond Rio. And the name of the soup is one more. The name of the song is One More Day. But the reason why we like to end with this song is because, um, well, actually, the backstory David already mentioned about how we went into the hospital when his father passed away. The very next day, we went to the recorder and reco uh, re went into the studio and recorded this song. And um, being able to be next to Uncle Dennis, you know, in those waning moments and having those conversations and seeing the glint in his eye as we told funny stories and and just having that closure really was a profound effect. And the message that we want to say when we perform this song one more day is, you know. If the world, if we treated each other with a little bit more aloha, if the world had a little bit more aloha and kindness, I think the world would be a much better place. So rather than, you know, jump off the deep end with anger or just what they're trying to do now with the Hawaiian movement is kapu aloha, treat everybody well from uh, respect. And so that way, you don't have that question like, oh, I wish I had one more day or what if I did this better? You know, we are, we are pono, we are, we are good with our, our choices. So that's the message we want to send to all of you. Mahalo Nui. Here's our version of that song, One More Day. Just for me, it could be anything. I didn't ask for money or a mansion in Malibu. I simply wished for one more day with you. One more day. Sunset, maybe I'll be satisfied. But then again, I know what it will do. Leave me wishing still for one more day.
First thing I do is crave for time to crawl. I'll unplug the telephone and turn the TV on. I'll hold you for every second, say a million I love yous. That's what I will do with one more day with you. One more day, one more time, one more sunset, maybe I'll be satisfied. But then again, I know what it will do, leaving me wishing still one more day. Of Uncle Dennis Kamakahi, Aloha Kikahi Kikahi. We are Wepuna, Malo, Malamapuna, and Aloha. Aloha, Nui.